Um, so my name is Ira, and I'm making a video for um, my two weeks post-op update. I know I just made one, but I didn't really talk about um, how my nipples are healing at all, and I did that on purpose because um, they're still like very much in the healing process, and I decided that I guess I wanted to share some like up close and personal information about them. Um, I know that some people are easily triggered by post hoc, like close ups of post op wounds, but you can't really tell because the, you know, the quality of my camera from far away. Um, even I can't tell from far away because my nipples are normally brown. So, uh, but yeah, um, so I just wanted to talk about how they're healing with you, and but I wanted to be courteous to those who are triggered by that. Okay, so. Um, this is how my right one looks. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, cool. Yeah, awesome. Um, as you, I don't, I don't know if you can tell because my camera, but it's starting to change color and it's starting to get lighter again. Um, especially like there's like a dot right there in the middle, and then it's like a, it's like a brown, and then a ring of lightness, and then a ring of brown again. Um, and the reason is because it's supposed to heal that way, I guess. Uh, basically right now it's all scabs, which is like kind of mind blowing for me, like I said, because my nipples are normally brown. So um, it's like, whoa, okay, so this looks normal to me and then it's going to look not normal for a while and then it'll look normal again. Um, but as the scabbing goes away, it'll go to like the color of the rest of my skin or lacking pigment in general. Um, and then after a while, it'll start to go back to the color that they were originally. Um, so the left one is a little interesting, a uh, big piece of the scab came off already, so it looks like uh, part of it fell off almost. You can see that at the bottom. I don't know if you can tell, but um, it's like kind of raised right there at that little chip uh, above the rest of my skin. Whoa, I can't even, I can't feel that, that's interesting. Um, and so yeah, uh, the same like sporadic discoloring is happening with that. And I don't know, a lot of people don't realize that, like, at least this is the way it seemed to me, but not only do they do, um, and they do two different types, they do two different skin grafts for top surgery, so they do the areola graft, and then they do the nipple graft as well. So, like, not, it's not just your areola that's cut down, it's, it seems like it may be both, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but like, my actual nipple looks smaller, so maybe they cut it in, like, half or something. Um, but, yeah, he, Dr. Garamoni mentioned a nipple graft and an areola graft, so I'm just going to say that there's two. Uh, but, yeah, so that's what it looks like. You can tell, kind of, um, that there are still some sutures, like, right there. I don't know if I should touch that. <laughs> I'm not going to do that again. Um, and, then, uh, those ones will dissolve with time. Um, they're kind of like sticking out a bit, so that's all. It's interesting. Um, but yeah, and then for the close-ups on the sides, uh, that's what it looks like right now. Um, it seems like there might be some stitches still stuck in. And then same with my left side as well. The left side seems to be a little more intense than the right side. Um, but, yeah, and then I guess I'll do a close-up in the middle. So, like, like I said in my update video that it seems like there's some um, stitching that hasn't dissolved yet. This is what it looks like, that bump I was telling you about, when I, like, put my arms closer together. Um, that's what it looks like when I put my shoulders back behind me. It seems to go away for the most part, but you can kind of see it, like, pulling almost. I don't know if you can tell the skin right there. Um, it's weird. Um, they seem to be pretty even, uh, and evenly sized. Um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, alright, I will talk to you all later. I hope this is somewhat informative. Uh, and yeah. <laughs> okay, bye.